I think probably 95% of our listenership has never heard these terms. Okay. So if we're talking about reps in reserve, this is when you go in and if you say eight, it means you have two reps in reserve. So you finish your eight and you should be able to complete two more with a really good form and then you hit failure. So eight repetitions in good form and the person doing the exercise could, in theory, if they really dug in there, grit their teeth, could complete two more repetitions in good form before hitting failure, the inability to move the weight anymore in good form. Exactly. Okay. But they're stopping at eight, so they have two reps in reserve. Exactly. And so we can correspond that with your rating perceived exertion. So if we're saying we need you to hit an eight on our scale of one to 10 of rating perceived exertion, we see it correlates with um, that eight with two reps in reserve. So it's a way of quantifying what you're doing in the moment for a squat or a deadlift or some other really heavy lift that you're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. As opposed to looking at, um, say, percentage of one repetition maximum. Yeah. Saying you're going to move 70% of your one repetition maximum for six repetitions. Seems like that's a great thing as well, but it's a little bit more complicated because you need to know your one repetition maximum.